My friend Mitchell is always full of creative, imaginative, and innovative ideas. She's always taking everyday objects and turning them into something, well, extraordinary, if not spectacular. Okay, hi. <laughs> something weird happened suddenly. At one time, I had a small child, and he was small and delicate and precious, and one day he grew like into this giant oversized thing whose feet are, big, are bigger than mine, who is taller than me, and whose friends are all a million feet tall. So in that little short period of overnight, he uh, outgrew all of his clothes, seemingly at one time. I know some of you might uh, know what I'm talking about. So I have a big pile of two small clothes that he still likes, has sentimental attachment to, and they're still important. So what, what, what's a girl to do? I'm gonna show you how to make no-sew throw pillows for your kid's bed. And this is a fun project to do with old t-shirts. I'm gonna show you two ways to do it for no-sew. One is using this magic stuff. This is called Stitch Witch. And it comes in black or white. And I think that in some places you can get it in brown, but commonly it comes in black or white. And this is a fusible web. Basically, it's glue, and I'll show you how to use it in a minute. And then we're also gonna I'll also show you how to use this, which is fabric glue, which is also easy, ideal. So for this one, we're gonna put his favorite sports player on to a existing throw pillow. This logo, I want to use as much of this logo as I can on here. So I get a pillow that's around that right size. And I want to go bigger than the pillow. And I'm just going to cut out this shirt. And I'm doing it about an inch and a half wider. Does not have to be exact because this is a pillow we're sticking in here. And then right here where the sleeves come down, we want to go at the most inner part of the sleeve and cut. So I'm gonna cut up like this, all the way as high as we can go to get that hat in there. And then across the top. This is super easy. Okay, so this is one way for a logo shirt. I'm gonna show you how to do a rugby shirt. I've already cut off the bottom. On a rugby shirt, you wanna go right underneath the armpits on either side. And this, we only have to do two sides of. And then I cut off the bottom. And this will fit this other one. So you want to turn it all inside out. And I'm going to flip this one inside out as well. Now, I'm going to press it super quick. Okay, so for this one, let's do the Mighty Mend It. This is fabric glue and it will bond forever and this will be washable as well. So I'm just gonna go along and run a thin, thin line. And this is real, real gummy. As you can see, it's pulling up. You wanna go right along the edge and you wanna do a Thin, thin line. You do not need a lot of this at all. And I'm gonna just run it along three sides. You don't want any openings, but you also do not want tons of glue. Go down here to there. But since I've got a whole pillow that I'm putting in, I'm not just stuffing it, I wanna go ahead and I'm only gonna go to here. You need to leave it open so you can fit the pillow in there. Okay, now I lay this guy down, face down. And line it up. Now I'm gonna mash that down. Okay, meanwhile, let's do this one. On this one, I'm gonna go ahead and do three sides of it so we don't have a lot of extra space. So I've leaving about an inch on the outside. Now, because this is stripes, we want to line the stripes up as well as we can, even though it's stretchy fabric. Okay, so I'm pressing this out as well as I can. 
just real super quick. This project should not take more than 10 minutes, ever. All I'm doing is I'm lining this up along the edge and that'll just lay right there, it sticks, y'all. It's so easy, it's not gonna slip and slide, you don't have to be careful. You just pull it to where you need it to be. Now here's where I'm going to be careful that it doesn't you know, get all uneven or anything. I'm gonna line my lines up with each other. I'm gonna hold this down and I'm gonna count to like five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This is the highest setting that this iron is on. Now I'm gonna let it cool a minute because you can definitely pull it up at this point. If you're checking it, it'll rip right up at this point. You can just check, let it cool for a minute, just check it, make sure you can go back over it again. You don't wanna go over it too long because it'll melt. What you wanna do is cut each corner, just the little square off the corner so that you don't get that bunch when you turn it in. So let's turn this one inside out. And see, you cannot tell, it just looks like the side. And I'm gonna push my finger into this corner. Then we slip our pillow in. Look at this! Now, to close it up, this is the trick. Push it down in there like this, and then just do a fold under. And all you have to do is kind of Iron it across like this, and then fold that much in on this side. We're just creating a crease real quick. Now you just wanna make sure it's tucked under, that's all that really matters. Now the closure is just a little bit more tricky, but this is the most difficult part of this, which is not difficult at all. We've got that folded under and everything shove that down there as far as we can. Then I'm gonna take some Stitch Witch, rip it, I'm gonna just run it right here. Now it's important to fold it under. This, I'm going to be a little bit more, I've gotta guide it a little bit, just as far as my fingers will go, that's comfortable for me, and start it. And I wanna hold my iron on it a little bit longer at this point because there's so much fabric to go through. So it'll get hot, so I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna count to about 15, 20 seconds. I'm just pulling these together. And I am being careful that these line up. It is kind of easy to get them uneven and you wanna just, but it only takes a little bit of effort to make them even. Okay, so I'm gonna let this cool now. We do the same thing with this one. We just turn it inside out, put the pillow in, and glue it shut. All right, and then I'm just closing this up, like so, tuck it in. Ta-da, look at this. So we'll go straighten it out. Once this dries real good, in about 15 minutes, I'll tug on it a little bit like you do a normal T-shirt, and then it'll be great and done. And this should be done. This one's done too. Tug on it a little bit. Make sure all your seams are on right. And there we got a couple of throw pillows. Let's go see how they look. So look how great these look. Of course, as always, I made these with stuff I already had laying around that you probably do too. 